Do you feel uncomfortable while breathing? Are you experiencing a lung disease and worried about it, which is known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? It's a group of diseases in which your body's airflow is blocked, which leads to breathing problems. A recent report from the World Health Organization has declared that chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is the third leading cause of death throughout the world and caused about 3.23 million deaths in 2019, of which almost 90% were under 70 years old. There are two main conditions of this disease, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. These conditions have made COPD a life-threatening disease. COPD most probably occurs due to smoking. You can say smoking is the primary cause of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Other risk factors include age, respiratory infections, dust, or fumes. A person may experience coughing, mucus production, wheezing, and shortness of breath as the common early symptoms of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. How can you differentiate between asthma and COPD? COPD is chronic on the other hand, asthma is considered an allergen. It is unlikely that you will develop asthma if you have COPD. Diagnosing this disease involves taking a patient's medical history, physical examination, and radiology tests like chest x-rays. This disease could be treated with some relieving medicines or steroids. Stay with us. We will explore a detailed video on this lung disease, including its causes, symptoms, complications, and treatment. What is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? It is a condition referred to as a group of progressive lung diseases. In the beginning, a patient experiences coughing, which produces slimy substances mucus, which leads to uncomfortable breathing. As the disease advances, it limits your breath by taking control of your lungs, and then any of these conditions appear, including either emphysema or bronchitis. Emphysema is a condition in which the alveoli, which are air sacs at the end of the bronchioles, are destroyed. These alveoli are elastic. When you breathe, air comes in and these sacs fill up like balloons. When you breathe out, these sacs deflate. During emphysema, these sacs cause problems while exhaling the air outside. Bronchitis is an inflammation of the lining of the airway's bronchial tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs. It leads to daily coughing and mucus production. It's a progressive disease that worsens with time. About 16 million people in America are living with COPD. A USA report found that 4% to 5% of adult males and 1% to 3% of adult females are affected by this disease. It's a major cause of disability and sixth the leading cause of death in the United States. Before diving further, let us elaborate on some causes of this chronic disease. Causes. The primary and ultimate source of this disease is tobacco smoking, either by cigarette or cigar. Some risk factors include exposure to chemicals, fumes by burning fuel for cooking or heating purposes, air pollution and dust which can cause COPD. COPD, caused at a young age, is a genetic condition known as alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. AAT is an enzyme that helps protect the lungs from any inflammation. A deficiency of this enzyme causes lung inflammation when directly exposed to dust, fumes, or other chemicals. Frequent or severe respiratory infections in childhood and poor growth in utero can also lead to COPD. Being overweight also increases the risk of COPD. If you are obese, your lungs have to work hard and the chances of COPD are enhanced. For instance, a person is affected by one of these causes and experiences chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. How can we find it? It is a question. To find it, we have to investigate the symptoms of this disease. Symptoms. The most common and early symptoms of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease are mild, such as mild coughing or difficulty breathing during short walks or exercise. These symptoms progressively worse when your lungs are damaged. The worst symptoms include chest tightness, chronic cough, flu, respiratory infection, and wheezing, a noisy breathing during exhalation. These symptoms 
ultimately lead to fatigue, feet, ankle swallowing, and weight loss, which become the basic reasons for further diseases. Complications exhibited by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In this disease, a person's lungs cannot fight against any lung infection like pneumonia. If COPD is not treated in a timely manner, it can damage the lung tissues and may cause air leakage between the lungs and the chest. Consequently, the affected person feels chest pain and pressure. In this condition, the lungs can collapse, known as pneumothorax. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a condition in which you take oxygen in your body by inhalation normally. However, during the exhalation process, you back the carbon dioxide from the body to the outside. As a result, the level of gas is not maintained, which causes headaches, fatigue, and wooziness. How COPD leads to heart problems, as we have discussed earlier. Due to COPD, your body's oxygen level is lowered, which can narrow the arteries, increase blood pressure in the vessels that move from the heart to the lungs quickly, and develop stress on the heart. That condition ultimately leads to right-sided heart failure with time. This problem does not stop here. It can increase the risk of many other problems, such as the enlargement of the heart, resulting in an irregular heartbeat. Similarly, your liver may become enlarged and your feet swell. COPD is also related to another chronic disease known as atrial fibrillation, which is an arrhythmia. The nerve fibers attached to the heart are damaged due to this disease and cause an unusual heartbeat known as arrhythmia. According to a study, approximately 18% of COPD patients have atrial fibrillation. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can lead to osteoporosis. As we know, most affected patients are smokers. They take steroids and are not focused on exercise or bone strengthening, which causes low levels of vitamin D and weakens the bones. As COPD means more pressure of blood from the heart to the lungs in the blood vessels, this causes an increase in muscles in the walls of the blood vessels, which worsens the breathing problem and leads to pulmonary hypertension. Diagnosis of COPD. When you visit your doctor, he will follow these steps to diagnose whether you are affected by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. First, he will ensure your medical history by asking questions like, are you a smoker? Does any sibling or parent already have COPD? Do you experience short breathing during exercise or resting positions? Are you experiencing coughing or mucus and coughing simultaneously? In the second step, he will take a physical examination. Check your heartbeat and blood pressure. Then, he will check your lungs by listening to your voice with the help of a stethoscope. After this, he will take a spirometry test of your lungs, in which you breathe in and then out. The doctor watches and measures the time of inhalation and exhalation by your lungs. Some other tests include pulse oximetry, electrocardiograms, and chest CT scans. Treatment. The proper cure for COPD is not possible, yet it could be treated by quitting smoking, avoiding air pollution, or taking vaccines. Here are some other medications or oxygen treatments for this disease. The main treatment for this disease is inhaling something that could reduce the swallowing of the lungs. Bronchodilators are best for this purpose. They relax the air passages to keep them open. A bronchodilator is active within seconds and lasts for 4 to 5 hours, or some lasts for about 24 hours. Please take an inhaler by the best appropriate method directed by a doctor. Some steroids and antibiotics could also be used to treat chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Long-term bronchodilators are used with corticosteroids that reduce inflammation in the airways. People who are affected by COPD for a longer period of time are treated with direct oxygen. Pulmonary rehabilitation is another way to treat COPD, and it includes exercise to improve breathing. For severe COPD surgery is also an option to treat it. One type of surgery is known as bullectomy. Another way to live with this chronic disease is by adopting these protective measures for your lungs. Flu vaccination every year. Pneumonia vaccine annually. All available virus vaccine. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.